Hey guys, check it out. This is a Seagate 5 terabyte expansion external powered drive for your desktop PC, or in my case, for my external NAS. Uh, I use a Raspberry Pi. If you haven't checked out those videos before, you can check them out now. Really cheap, effective way of making yourself a network attached storage and turning your home file server into something that's pretty capable. And with five terabytes, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So this is another drive. I'm gonna be adding this to my existing setup. And I'm not really gonna show that off today. You can check out the video how to set those up, uh, like I say, in the about section below, or you can check them out. Uh, they should be on screen now with the cards. Anyways, I'm gonna jump inside this just to show you exactly what's inside the Seagate five terabyte drive. This isn't my first Seagate product. Uh, I use a number of Seagate drives uh, throughout the house. Uh, I like, I like Seagate. I have nothing more to say about it than that. Uh, it's a brand that I've used and that I trust. So here it is. They tend to offer pretty, pretty close to uh, reasonable prices. It says connect with uh, connectse.com. I'm not gonna be using that. I'm gonna be reformatting this drive straight off the bat into a Linux format. I don't really care about the software that comes with it. This, uh, as it says in the back, is add-on storage for your PC. Nothing else in English. Uh, certified super speed USB, USB 3. Uh, this says it's compatible with Windows, uh, but with a little bit of formatting, I'll just switch it over to Linux. Cool, uh, on the bottom of the box, there's some sort of information-y stuff. On the top of the box, there's not really much except a one year limited warranty. And good to know, it's fully recyclable packaging. So I will be recycling that at the end of this video. Let's just uh, get inside it. This is just a little bit of plastic wrap on the outside here. So I'm just gonna pull this. All right, so the first thing to come out is of course the 3.5 inch drive, that's right there. And then on this side, this is where you're gonna find the power brick, which is here, and the USB cable, which is here. This is indeed USB 3, as you can see. Uh, I don't know actually if you can see that. As you can see there, it is USB 3. USB 3 is denoted by blue and it has the extra connector on the side here, which allows the extra wires to connect to give us the super speed. There's a quick start guide here, but of course there's not really much to do. Plug it in USB uh, to the computer and you're away. A little bit of technical information in there, but it doesn't seem like there's anything to fill out. There's no warranty card or anything to send in. So we'll just move that off to the side. Here's the drive itself. You can see it's got this kind of textured pattern on the outside. And it says Seagate in the corner. Uh, this means these uh, feet here mean that it can stand this way. That's kind of nice and it looks like there's an LED there. Plugs are on the back. So just plug this in and you're away. Basically inside of here is a full size hard drive, a three and a half inch hard drive. These are your standard spinny hard drives. That's why this is so big. And because it's powered, it means it'll work well with your Raspberry Pi setup, whether that's Raspberry Pi 3, whether that's Raspberry Pi 0, whatever you want. So that's why I go for powered ones, five terabyte, Seagate. There's not much else to say. This is five terabytes and all I have to do is just go set it up. And I've showed that in the other videos. So that's it for me for today. Hope you found this video useful. If you're thinking about buying one of these hard drives, even though the Raspberry Pi doesn't have USB 3, you're pretty much gonna have to get USB 3 these days. It's, it's difficult to find a drive without USB 3. Uh, for five terabytes, these things are around 150 bucks on Amazon. You'll find a link in the about section below. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. If you found this video particularly useful, you can of course buy me a coffee or support the channel on Patreon. Thanks very much to all of you guys who already do that and who've already contributed to the channel. It's very much appreciated. It let's me do stuff like uh, buy things so that I can back up the movies that I'm making like the one that you're watching here. This movie is gonna be on this drive in almost no time at all. So thanks very much for that. Don't forget to check out all my other Raspberry Pi projects. You can find those in the about section below. It's always best when we start a little community around these things. If you guys know of other hard drives that you think are better or worse or have any feedback about this Seagate that I got, let me know. Always interested when we create little communities around these videos. Thanks very much. We'll talk again soon, guys.
Don't forget to subscribe. You got to subscribe. Let's me know that you like these sorts of videos. Cheers.